Fixing mistakes. In this part, I am going to cover different techniques that you can utilize to improve the recording that you just made. First, I am going to cover how to cut different parts of your recording. And this is fairly useful for you to get rid of the mistakes that you might have made throughout your recording. In order to show you how to cut different parts of your videos, I am going to bring my Camtasia window forward and I am going to right click on the bin and I am going to ask Camtasia to import media and what I am going to import is the previous recording about Camtasia's interface. I'm going to add that to the timeline and I am going to zoom in to a part that I know needs some work. And here it is. Once that I am here, I am going to select a certain area of the recording and I am going to show you how I made a mistake and how I corrected. In order for you to understand well what's going on, I would like to ask you to please pay attention to what I'm saying and that will give you a good idea of the type of mistakes that you can fix when your recording is made. Now if I move to the other side, I'm going to place the head over here and you move to the other side, you're going to get a very fine detailed version of, you're going to get a very detailed as you can see, one of the things that happened throughout my recording is that I made a mistake and after the mistake I just stopped. I thought about it a little bit and then I just said it again. So please uh, take a moment and listen to the mistake that I made, how I stopped and how I just said it once more. In essence, I was not really saying what I wanted to say here, especially when I said the word version. And I started again over here saying it the right way. The reason why I proceed like this at the time of my recording is because I know that later on in post-production, at the time of editing, I'm going to be able to make very quick cuts that are going to help me improve my video. So what I'm going to look in here is at what moment I should stop in order for me to be able to start again over here. So I'm going to look for that point by listening to this part. You're going to get a very detailed. You are going to get a very detailed. So I'm going to go over here. And you move to the other side. You're going to get a very fine detail. And I think that the moment to cut is after the detail. just before the word view. So I do this type of um, fixes in my recordings. I'm going to increase this area so it's a lot more evident where I'm cutting. And one of the ways in which I normally cut is not really by paying attention what is going on in the viewing area, but I am paying attention to the representation of my voice down here. And that is going to allow me to do a lot better job than if I look over here. So I am going to zoom in a little bit more. I'm going to move the timeline so I can have all the important areas in my view. And here I go again. And you move to the other side, you're going to get a very fine detailed version of, you're going to get a very detailed view of. So at this moment I say detail and I stop here and at that moment I am going to grab the head of the program, I'm going to click on the shift key in the keyboard and I'm going to drag the head to where I want it to stop. So the place where I think I want it to stop is right here just before the word view and that will make the cut exactly as I want it. If I want to review what I just selected, it is very easy. I just come over here to the play button and click. Very well. 
So once that this is done, I'm going to cut this in several ways. The first way is the way in which I don't want to do it, but I just want to demonstrate what is going to happen. I'm going to click on delete range and that entire area of the video is going to be deleted and there's going to be nothing in the middle between one part and the other. One of the things that we can do at this moment is to click and drag this side over here and the cut would be made. View of your audio file. So now we have detailed view of your video file. I am gonna go to undo. I'm gonna undo once more. And once that I have back my selected area, I'm going to show you the second way of achieving this. Once again, right click and I am going to click on ripple delete range. And pretty much what that is going to do is going to automatically take away the part in the middle and is going to stitch both sides so they can continue in a flawless way. Here we go. And that worked really well. So the way it goes is throughout my recording, if I make any mistake, I just stop. I think about it. It really doesn't matter how much time I think about it. And then I start again, knowing that later on at the time of editing, I'm going to grab all of that silence and including the error that I made and I'm going to delete it. And that is going to allow you to work fairly easily at the time of the recording. I'm going to undo once more and I'm going to show you another way of doing the same process. Another way in which you can do this, I'm going to click the escape key in order to get rid of that selected area. Another way in which I make this happen is to right click on the video file at the point in which I want to cut. And at that moment, I'm going to ask to split at the playhead. And that is going to create a separation in my file to create two different files. Then I can come over here to the point in which I would like to cut again. And once again, I can come over here and split at playhead. Once that that has been done, I can delete this middle part and once again, bring this over here. Now this seems to be taking a lot more steps, but for certain type of cuts in certain situations, going through the splitting process is a lot more efficient than going through other type of processes explained previously. Once again, I'm going to undo and I am going to go ahead and I am going to make the ripple delete, which is the way in which I like to do things. And basically it's because it's the fastest and there it is. Very well. I'm going to move to another part of the video just to make another change and to show you how that goes through fairly quickly. And once again, I'm going to ask you to please pay attention to the audio that is going to play. This can also be accomplished through the menu structure. In other words, the menu structure will, pro the menu structure will provide you with once again, I stumbled and the only thing that I did is just stop talking and start again. The menu structure will, pro the menu structure will provide you with means to do the exact same. So in this case, the cutting process should be a lot easier. I'm going to put the head over there. I'm going to click on the shift key again. I'm going to click and drag and select the place where I would like to stop cutting. Once that that area has been selected, I right click and I select ripple delete range. Once that that has been done, I can go back here and hear how it all sounds. In other words, the menu structure will provide you with means to do the exact same thing. And there it goes. Okay, now we're going to tackle how 
to add a silence and sometimes adding a silence is important because at the time of your recording there was some expected sound that you were not able to control and that got into your recording imagine that for example your cell phone rang and then you want to get rid of that part without getting rid of your entire recording so I'm gonna show you quickly how to add a silence and for that I need to bring my Camtasia window back to this screen and I'm gonna show you that this video this track over here contains both the visual part of your video and the auditory part of your video and part of what we're gonna do at this moment is we are going to split them apart we're gonna separate the video from the audio so we can make some manipulations to the audio file in an easier way so I'm gonna click there and now I have the video of the recording in this track and now I have the audio of the recording in that track so let's imagine that this is the area that I would like to silence over here so in order to do that I will place the head where I would like to start creating the silence and I'm gonna split at the playhead now one of the things that I would like to show you is that the split happened only in the track that was selected and it was not made in the track that was not selected and that is very important because it's going to allow you to specifically select the audio file for you to insert that silence so now I'm going to come back over here I'm going to make sure once again that the audio track is selected and I'm going to once again right click and split at playhead what this has caused is for me to be able to isolate this area and then I can click the delete key and all of that is gonna go away so in essence you were able to keep your video but you got rid of the audio part of your video also. so the video is still playing but my voice is not there anymore that's the way you can insert easily a silence let me undo this so I can make it come back here and now that we have made this split over here and we have made this split over here what I would like to do now is not to really silence this part but to improve it by raising or lowering the volume and that might happen because at the time of your recording you could have looked away from the microphone as you were recording this part and therefore your voice was fairly low and you would like to improve that or the other way around you got too close to your microphone in this part and for some reason it recorded your voice really loud and you would like to tone it down so once that you have created your individual area where the audio is the audio that you would like to fix is you can come over here to this button and you can get the properties window out as I am doing right now and here you're gonna be able to increase the volume for that area you can see that as I am moving this lever the sound file is raising and you can have or decreasing and you can have a good idea of how this manipulates the audio in that area you can also see that you have the option to mute it and that's another way to get rid of the audio in that place so I'm gonna control C and I am just gonna lower the volume like that if you play it you will notice the differences quite easily also. and there it goes so by doing these little fixes to your overall recording by cutting parts in which you made mistakes during the recording or then silencing or altering the sound of different parts of your videos might give you enough tools for you to increase the quality of your productions in a big way.